Hi guys, welcome to our channel. First of all, wish all the viewers a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi. May Lord Ganesha bless you all with lot of health, wealth and happiness. Well guys, I was supposed to release this video last week but because I am a Maharashtrian and I am a Maharashtrian in Ganpati Gauri and I am a very busy in Ganpati Gauri. So I was so busy with the decoration and stuff that this video is coming after a week's delay. But anyway, I am going to cover a very very interesting topic in this video. I am going to talk about index mutual funds. A lot of people, a lot of my friends keep asking कि यार कौन से stocks खरीदे, कौन से stocks में invest करे, कौन से mutual funds में पैसे डाले, बोलो बोलो. So this video is about is for all those people who are confused where to invest and where to put their hard earned money so that the money remains safe and also gives good returns. So in this video we are going to talk about what exactly are index funds, how to select an index fund, and who should invest in an index fund. So let's watch this video. Now your investment portfolio should always be well diversified. <clears throat> मतलब आपके इन्वेस्टमेंट पोर्टफोलियो में स्टॉक्स होने चाहिए अक्रॉस वेरियस सेक्टर ऑफ कोर्स म्यूचुअल फंड्स होने चाहिए बॉन्ड्स होने चाहिए सोना होना चाहिए कैश फिक्स डिपॉजिट्स ये सब कुछ होना चाहिए आइडियली अगर आप सिर्फ स्टॉक्स में भी इन्वेस्ट करते हो तो भी योर सिलेक्शन ऑफ स्टॉक शुड रेंज अक्रॉस वेरियस सेक्टर्स सो दैट Tomorrow, even if one sector falls, the other sectors are doing well. So your portfolio is more or less protected. Now, when we speak about diversification, one thing that comes in our mind is index. So an index is nothing but it consists of all. It consists of stocks across various sectors in various proportions. Now, an index fund is nothing but a mutual fund which simply mimics that particular benchmark index. So, we have various index indices like we have Nifty 50, we have BSC Sensex, we have Bank Nifty, etc. Just in Nifty 50, may automobile sector, ho, banking sector, ho, FMCG sector, ho, infrastructure sector, ho, telecom sector, ho, aise har sector ke kuch stocks Nifty 50 may hote hai. So when you are selecting an index mutual fund which is replicating Nifty 50, it is going to have stocks which Nifty 50 has and in the same proportion that Nifty 50 has. So in an index mutual fund, you basically get various number of stocks in various proportions which are similar to the benchmark index. Cool, right? Now, as we saw, an index mutual fund will simply replicate a index, a particular benchmark index. Yani, in index fund, me vahi sari stocks honge usi proportion me jose ke benchmark index me hai. So, agar suppose ek index fund hai jo Nifty 50 ko replicate kar raha hai, to kal ko agar Nifty 54 percent se upper gaya, to hamara index fund bhi lagbag 4 percent se upper jayega. If tomorrow Nifty 50 falls by 2 percent, then our index mutual fund will also fall near about by 2 percent. That is called as passively managed mutual fund because that particular mutual fund is simply replicating the index, the benchmark index. Whereas other mutual funds, they are actively managed mutual funds. Yani, usme fund manager decide karta hai ki kaun sa stock kharidna hai, kaun sa stock undervalued hai, kaun sa overvalued hai, kaun sa stock kab bechna hai. This all things are decided by a fund manager. So why should one invest in a mutual fund which is simply replicating the index? Well guys, when you are simply replicating an index, your risk is also low. Because aapke, aapka portfolio, aapka mutual fund is very well diversified versus an actively managed mutual fund jo ki sirf a particular sector mein invest kar raha hoga jis mein wo fund manager ko confidence hai. So your risk is minimized when you are investing in an index mutual fund as compared to an actively managed mutual fund which is trying to outperform the market and a passively managed fund or an index fund is relatively less volatile. 
ऑल्सो सेकेंडली यहाँ पे तो कोई फंड मैनेजर मैनेज नहीं कर रहा है आपके स्टॉक्स को आपके पैसों को यूर सिंपली रेप्लीकेटिंग वॉट एन बेंच मार्क इंडेक्स इज डूइंग सो द मैनेजमेंट फी ऑफ कोर्स इज वेरी लो एज कम्पेयर टू पैसिवली मैनेज एज कम्पेयर टू एक्टिवली मैनेज म्यूचुअल फंड Now, who should invest in an index fund? So, as you know that index funds are very well diversified. So, उनकी risk बहुत कम होती है as compared to an actively managed invest in uh, actively managed mutual fund. So, any person who has a lower risk appetite can in have an index fund in his portfolio. Also, any person who is looking for investment for more than seven years who wants to lock his money. for more than 7 years can invest in index fund because index funds historically has given returns which are more than 10 to 12% per year so if you have an investment horizon of more than 7 years then an index fund is a must for you because because it has low risk and it also gives you better returns than your fixed deposits so in which index fund should one invest there are various asset management companies there is kotak there is sundaram there is gsp blackrock there is aditya birla sun life etc bahut sari index fund available hai to aap kis mein invest karoge to basically you have to look for two things lowest tracking error and lowest expense ratio what is a tracking error like i said previously an index fund is the one the fund that is replicating a benchmark index to so, agar benchmark index aapka 4% ya 5% se badhta hai lekin aapka index fund sirf 3% se badhta hai to us case mein aapka 1% jo hai the difference between your the returns that are given by your benchmark portfolio benchmark index and your index fund is called as the tracking error so this 1% is a tracking error so of course you want a fund which is replicating the index which is giving you the least tracking error and also the second thing is look for an index fund which is having a least expense ratio now what is an expense ratio so a part of your asset goes to a goes to the fund managing company as a commission of course the commission the management fees in case of an index fund are very low as compared to other mutual funds but still a considerable portion does go into the management fees or a commission so you have to see to it that the expense ratio of that particular index fund is pretty low to ye do cheeze aapko dekhni hai tracking error aur ek hai expense ratio to jis kisi company ka sabse kam expense ratio aur kam tracking error ho aap us asset management company ke sath index uh, us asset management company ka index fund le lo usme aap invest kar lo also like all other mutual funds index fund also has is subjected to uh, dividend distribution tax and capital gains tax however it has low volatility low risk and very very predictable returns so if at all you are a beginner in the mutual fund segment or if you are a newbie then i would suggest you to invest in an index fund and see what how how the performance of an index fund goes and then later on as and when you are uh, diving deep into the investment segment you can try out other mutual funds so that is it for now we have covered an interesting topic of index mutual funds do let us know if you like this video if you have any comments if you have any queries any suggestion or compliments for us please do comment below or if you want any of the topic to be covered do comment below also if you like our videos please do subscribe to our channel so that is it for now stay tuned stay safe